Hello everyone, and welcome to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge Championship! Woo! Woohoo! It is finally time, friends! It is finally time to take some of the beautiful crossbreeds that we have had in the past and mix and match them in a championship showdown! So, thank you guys so much for giving me this idea a little while ago that we should go ahead and try taking some of our favorite crossbreeds from our past mixes and crossbreeding them against each other! Other. And the contenders, oh my gosh, you guys have been voting and suggesting for so many favorites. I don't think that one championship a month is going to hold all of them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try doing multiple championships. So keep your eyes out. These will be very special episodes of our random laboratory challenge where we are going to be stringing together not one and two animal genetics, but not even three. We're going to be mixing together four different sets of animal genes into one amazing petri dish creation. So I hope you guys have your lab coats ready and your safety goggles, of course, and you're ready to help me out as we return to one of our former contestants, our former experiments, that is, Jasmine! Look at her! Isn't she so freaking cute? But this is Jasmine, you guys, and she is actually from our Pomeranian and African wild dog mix. And she just turned out so freaking precious. And yes, I know a lot of the things that you guys have been voting for and a lot of the animals that you want to see are our more wonky, really wild looking mixes. But before we set out for the animals that really kind of make you flinch and be like, ah, I can't tell if that's adorable or nightmare fuel. I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to have some of the cute ones. So I picked two of our most quote unquote objectively lovely uh, creations. And again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Like everything is beautiful in its own way. I will stand up for spiders and all of the under like underclass of animal that people usually try to brush off. Like the giant salamander. If you really want to know what I think be is beautiful which is basically everything in the whole world, definitely check out the giant salamander. It's also known as a hellbender. And then you guys will know that Siri's definition of beauty is more than skin deep. However, this time around, I at least wanted to go with the ones that looked the least like lab accidents. So we have beautiful Jasmine. She really represented some of the best of what the Pomeranian genes had to offer with her poofiness and her adorable twirly tail. She also has an excellent stature, very good standing, very good standing. Mm -hmm. It seems like her back muscles are, are nice and strong. She's got good posture and she also has the adorable, absolutely beautiful African wild dog coat patterning. Now in real life, the African wild dogs will have a different coat pattern for every single dog. It is unique and individual to them as much as our fingerprints are unique and individual to us, unless you happen to be an identical twin, in which case you share somebody's fingerprints. Uh, but in real life, the wild dogs will never look quite the same. So they will have the same patterning when we breed them here in the laboratory, but just try to pretend like the spots are in different arrangements. But she turned out gorgeous. She was really sweet, even if she is a troublemaker. She's very friendly about it and a little bit hairy, and I'm really excited to have her return. So she is actually going to be our Pomeranian and African wild dog mix, mixed with dun 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 dyson another former fan favorite who really swept the board with our ja or our leopard pardon me our leopard and fox mix so this is what happens when you crossbreed a leopard and a fox together and tyson became the favorite of so many fans out there and I really love how he ended up having two colored eyes as well. We have a golden eye and an orange eye, one inherited from each parent, which we thought was just a fantastic extra little cherry on top of such an amazing, amazing crossbreed. He clearly has a lot of the fox features. He's got those ears, he's got the fox tail, but he has, and also kind of like the fox fluffiness, but he has the leopard's bulk. So I don't know how well he can climb trees because I think he's actually so bulky he could rival a jaguar, which are normally much larger than leopards. Uh, however, I think that he can definitely make up for it for sheer intelligence. He was, of all of the mixes we've done the last month, the mix that seemed to really be that, that extra brilliance of wild smarts. So 
Tyson's going to be bringing the leopard and the fox jeans into the Petri dish. And together, we're gonna see what happens when you have a Pomeranian African wild dog leopard fox baby. So I hope you guys are ready. I've already got the names pulled up. Definitely let me know if you've fallen in love with some of these ones, because who knows, we could just keep this chain of random crossbreeds on crossbreeds going for a long time. And let's do this. As always, my friends, if you want to end up becoming one of these beautiful little creations, then all you need to do is leave a comment down in the comment section below and the random comment generator may pick you. All right, so Jasmine, here's the thing. We're gonna continue to randomize until we either have the African wild dog or the leopard patterning, no matter what. So like this one doesn't match right here. So we're gonna randomize this daughter again. <gasps> and here we go. Oh, look at those beautiful green eyes and the African wild dog pattern. My friends, this is Madison. Madison, welcome, welcome. Madison, you cannot produce wool. There's no sheep genes in this mix. However, you can be an independent jumpy glutton. So this is gonna be very interesting. The puppies are mostly gonna look pretty normal until the moment comes for them to grow up. So brace yourselves, friends. All right, let's mix up the next batch of jeans in the Petri dish. All right. Oh, that's really cute. Hang on, I need to pull up a new name. And here we are. We're gonna go ahead and mix Tyson's jeans in. Oh, look at you! Oh, you're so pretty! And you've got a twirly tail! You guys, this little one has inherited the Pomeranian's twirly tail from the full set of jeans. And this one is actually going to be Agave! Ren, what a lovely name that you had for our little mix. And you are going to be vocal, stubborn, and active. Oh, I love that combination. Who knows how these ones are going to look? Again, they're gonna look totally normal as babies, and then they're gonna grow up into who knows what. All right, let me pull up the next name really quickly. All right, and we have got... Oh, cute, but we need to roll until we get the right coloring. All right, keep going, keep... Oh, they're fluffy! We have got another fluffy little African wild dog. Here we go, and this is gonna be Edits. So hello, Edits. That's a cute name, too. Edits, you cannot produce milk. You have no cow genes in you yet. All right, you are active, hairy, and a troublemaker. Oh, it sounds like we're gonna have our hands full with this little litter, my friends. All right, next one. Can we pull up the name? All right, here we go. Oh, there we go, perfect, boom, immediately. We have got Muffin. So welcome, Muffin, welcome, welcome. You've got demon eyes, I'm sure that's fine. You can't produce wool yet, my dear, but you can be a glutton who is a troublemaker and loyal, aw, and twirly tail. We have still got the twirly tail carrying on in from the Pomeranian edge. It's really fun to identify like one specific trait, like the ears on the fox that Tyson has and know that that has come from a fox. And we know like the leopard bulk and the leopard coloring comes from the leopards and also kind of the jaw on Tyson is more fox, but combined with leopard. And then of course the coloration for the African wild dog, it's just so exciting to know that that's where those came from. And we can look at these two generations removed crossbreeds and figure out what traits they carry on. Aww. Okay, let's keep going. This is getting really exciting. I didn't expect the champion to be so intense because, ooh, I like this ghost puppy, uh, because I forgot how fun it would be to try to pick apart, like, what did you inherit? What are your genes? All right, next one. Oh, another little African wild dog. Oh, welcome. Let me go ahead and pull up the next name on the name list. And this is going to be, dun, 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 Angelina. Welcome, Angelina. You are going to be vocal, hairy, and smart. And it looks like at first glance, what did you inherit? What did you inherit? Maybe the jaguar jaw that looks like a small jaw. And the ears kind of look more like you have got the African wild dog or the Pomeranian ears, but we'll have to see. The jaguar ears were quite small. All right, next up. We have got, oh, you're cute, but not the one we're looking for. Oh yes, another Jaguar. I was really hoping for more spots and look at those ears. Oh man, okay, those ears are amazing. Those are definitely the fox ears. And this is going to go ahead and be, let's see. 
This is gonna be Alexa. So Alexa, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the lab. I think that this one definitely has some fox and I love the two colored eyes again. Is that called diachromatic? I think it's called diachromatic. Uh, all right, you are gonna be hairy, active, and adventurous. All right, guys, the time has come. Our four level crossbreeds are ready. So little Madison, I think has the African wild dog ears from mom, not the twirly tail, African wild dog fur, obviously, and the face. So let's see who has the smaller muzzle. There's Tyson's muzzle. Here's Jasmine's muzzle. I think maybe Tyson's muzzle? This is gonna be a close call. Okay, Madison, impress us. <gasps> Madison! Oh, Madison definitely, and oh, look at the ears. Madison definitely inherited the bulk from the Jaguar, I think. Because <laughs> none of the, well, yeah, maybe bulk from the Jaguar. Tail is pretty normal. Madison, you turned out beautifully. There's nothing wonky about you whatsoever. Very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm sort of surprised. I thought that we would get something a little wonkier, but I think Madison really carries a lot of Jaguar and then just got the coloration from the African wild dog. And those are the African wild dog ears versus the pointy fox ears too. So all right, Madison, welcome, welcome to the pack. I don't really see anything Pomeranian in you at all, to be honest. All right, however, Agave has the twirly tail. So let's see how that plays out. <gasps> Agave! You are everything I could have hoped for. We have the Pomeranian's twirly tail. We have got the fox's pointy ears. Uh, we lost a little bit of the African wild dog, maybe. Is that the fox's pointy ears or the African wild dog's pointy ears? That might be African wild dog ears, but I think that's fox ears. I love you, Agave. This is what I was hoping for. I really wanted those ears and I really wanted that tail and it didn't really matter everything else, but I really wanted that mix. So here we have it. The Pomeranian genes carry on. I love breeding the Pomeranians. They always have such amazing results. Oh my gosh. All right, so speaking of the Pomeranian mixes, I mean, I feel like Agave just swept the board personally. I love him. I love him. But we have yet to see what the other four are going to be. So Edits, you also have the Twirly Do tail, and what are you gonna do with it? Oh! <gasps> edits! Yes! The Pomeranian fluff and the Pomeranian tail continue down the lineage. We have got, uh, I think the Jaguar ears in there. It's kind of hard to tell. Could be a lot of different ears. I love, look at those paws. You look like a bear now. This is beautiful. I love it. I wasn't actually expecting the fluffy Jean to return. So this is so much fun. <gasps> I love that tail. Okay, edits, you are also extremely amazing. Um, I think this one definitely is heavy on the palm. Definitely heavy on the Pomeranian. Whereas Madison like lost most of that, edits definitely has Pomeranian jeans in there. Muffin, you're up next, my dear. You also have the twirly do tail and <gasps> you took it a different direction. Okay, so Muffin, I think, not really the Jaguar body. So Muffin actually has the African wild dog jeans making a big display here with the African wild dog body that we're carrying. We have the twirly tail from the Pomeranians. We have the pointy ears from the fox. So this one, maybe the size or the jaw would say Jaguar, maybe the paws to be honest. Oh yeah, the paws are all Jaguar. All right. Madison, or Muffin, excuse me. Muffin, so far, happens to be one of the best combination of all of these jeans. Uh, I will say that Agave definitely tickles me, though. I love all of these little ones. Angelina! Angelina, you're really a little one! <laughs> and Angelina sweeping back in and reminding us that there are some tiny dog jeans hiding in there, too. Angelina, thank you for reminding me that Pomeranians are also very small. <laughs> you're very adorable. I think fox ears again. Definitely the Pomeranian jaw and sizing. But I think, interestingly enough, some of the Jaguar's bulk, like a, a very, very muscular little pup we've got here. Angelina, I love you too. And finally, we have Alexa, who I think for sure has those fox ears. <gasps> and sure enough, has grown up with those fox ears. I think definitely, oh, and the fox tail. 
And the Jaguar face, I think? Maybe the longer Pomeranian face, actually? Yeah, the muzzle. No, definitely the Jaguar muzzle. And the Jaguar's, uh, the Jaguar's body? Nope. We have a body based off of the African wild dog, actually. So there we go, guys. This is awesome. I have to say, the edits definitely tickled me to pieces. Muffin turned out to be a great mix. Angelina reminded us that Pomeranians are small, and I just love the overall mix of agave. Look at him. Look at him. He's adorable. But all right, guys, this was a great first championship round. Thank you so much for suggesting this. If you could suggest even more crossbreeds that we could do in the future, do leave those comments down below. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.